It's the mustachioed miniature schnauzer. Back in the day, the miniature schnauzer's mustache was matted into battle armor. To protect against their scratching rodent prey, maybe that tough Fu Manchu style drew Kung Fu master Bruce Lee to own a mini schnauzer. Some people are intimidated by that. To me, they look like little, little men, and so I just kind of laugh at them when I see them. The breed's more gentlemanly qualities endeared owners like Bill Cosby, Bob Dole, and Mary Tyler Moore. Though when miniature schnauzers get together, they're hardly gentlemen. Many schnauzers in a group are known to throw their heads back and howl like wolves. The miniature schnauzer is bouncy and bold. While all other terriers were developed on the British Isles, the miniature schnauzer is German. The terra in terrier means earth. These dogs were bred to go down into the earth to hunt vermin. It's clear that we did a very good job in creating dogs that are very, very courageous. Cross the standard schnauzer with a poodle and the affin pincher, and you get cute. Also known as the miniature schnauzer. Among the most lovable, enthusiastic of all of the dog breeds. Americans seem to have a soft spot for this dog. Historically, one of the most popular breeds in the United States and steadily gaining popularity. A handsome rectangular muzzle distinguishes the miniature schnauzer. The word schnauzer comes from the German for muzzle. A thick, wiry double coat which shed dirt when the dog went to ground for the rodents. It's a fiery dog with a wire coat, and when you hear wired hair terrier, this one really fits the bill. One of the things they excel at is um, barking. Miniature schnauzers tend to be very easily alerted and stimulated. This breed has exceptional hearing. They can hear sound frequencies twice as high as humans and 50% higher than sheep. Miniature schnauzers are sometimes teamed up with German shepherds to guard flocks and property. The sharp-hearing schnauzers will start barking to alert the German shepherds if there is an intruder. They seem to be predisposed to really accomplishing something together, and they just really, really uh, enjoy teamwork. One miniature schnauzer and his owner are bringing teamwork to new heights, literally. Tom Ryan and his dog Atticus hike up New Hampshire's White Mountains. This is a foreboding mountain range with some of the most rugged peaks east of the Rockies. Here we go, let's go to the top, go ahead. But this is more than a personal passion. Tom and Atticus use their love of the mountains to help others. They embarked on an astounding challenge, raise money to cure cancer. They dedicated their efforts to a friend who had recently died of the disease. We decided we were going to raise money by trying to uh, hike all the 48, 4,000 footers twice in one winter. No dog and man team had ever accomplished such a feat. Outfitted with warm booties, the super schnauzer proved more than up to the challenge of climbing. Tom began posting to a blog about their hikes. Word soon got around. People began pledging donations to cancer research for each peak Atticus and Tom conquered. The journey was arduous. At many points, they nearly gave up. The duo would be tested by Mount Washington, a mountain that has taken 135 lives. It's a scary mountain, and it's a scary idea of climbing it. The world's worst weather. World record for the wind speed. And so I was really scared. But the pair made it to the top of Mount Washington. Then they pushed on, knocking out peak after peak. Amazingly, with just eight days of winter left, they had completed 81 mountains. Their goal of 96 winter hikes was in reach, but a massive snowstorm shut down the mountains and dimmed their hopes. One of the things in hiking with a dog in the White Mountains is you have to be accommodating to the dog and protect him. Tom didn't want to risk exposing Atticus to the extreme weather, so the two fell just short. While they didn't reach their lofty goal, Tom and Atticus had hiked 81 peaks and raised more than $5,000 for cancer care and research. But after returning from the mountains, Tom makes a devastating discovery. Find out if Tom and Atticus can keep climbing next on Dogs 101. Atticus, the miniature schnauzer, and his owner Tom have just made doggy history by hiking 81 peaks in New Hampshire's looming White Mountains. 
The dangerous winter hikes raised over $5,000 to fight cancer, but after returning home, Tom notices a change in Atticus. I, I noticed it first by throwing him a cookie on the floor. Uh, he couldn't see the cookie. Atticus had cataracts and was going blind. Even though the condition is congenital, Tom thought the sunlight reflecting off the snow during the hikes had led to Atticus's blindness. I felt uh, I left as if I'd left my friend down who hadn't let me down. He had, um, sorry. It was so important to him that we finish that even though he was going blind for so long, he saw to it that he got me as far as he could through the winter, getting 81 peaks while he was going blind. And that, to me, was the definition of loyalty. The cataracts were removed, restoring Atticus's vision. Then blood tests revealed something even worse. Atticus showed possible signs of thyroid cancer. The little dog who had raised so much money to fight cancer now was going through a cancer scare himself. Tom turned to Dr. Maureen Carroll of the renowned Angel Animal Hospital. How's Atticus today? We ran one expansive thyroid profile on him that was normal. We repeated it, and it was normal. The blood test came back, and there was nothing wrong with Atticus. All I know is my prayers and the uh, prayers of many people in the community were answered that night. How are you, Addy, huh? <laughs> you ready to hike today, buddy? It wasn't long before Tom and Atticus were back in the mountains. Inspired by Atticus's cancer scare, the duo are now hiking for a new charity, Angel Animal Hospital. I thought we'd like to pay back what was paid to us. I'd like to give money back to people in need who may not be able to afford the treatments for their animals they love the most. To date, Atticus and Tom have raised over $8,000 for Angel. Atticus is like an extreme athlete who constantly has his game face on. The staff at Angel are grateful for their new star fundraiser. But Atticus and Tom can only stop so long to take in the adoration. They still have mountains to climb. Good boy. Isn't that great? <clears throat> Not every miniature schnauzer is going to be able to hike mountains, but in general, they're very adaptable. Miniature schnauzers are a perfect example of a dog that does well in almost any environment. They do have some health concerns, so look out. Heart and eye problems are common in this breed. There's also a funny condition of, like, uh, blackheads that can develop along the back of their spines. That wiry double coat will become matted if not attended to. If you are going to leave it long, then they're probably going to need daily grooming. Miniature schnauzers love to snuggle and fit in well within the family. It's a wonderful dog. It's a great family-type dog. Loves people. The miniature schnauzer is a favorite of trainers. Miniature schnauzers are probably among the smartest breeds that I have ever worked with. I love miniature schnauzers. Every miniature schnauzer is different, but generally this is a highly adaptable breed with a smattering of heart, eye, and other health issues. That coat demands regular grooming, and they're a cinch to train. And this is a great all-around family dog. So to recap, the old English sheepdog may have a goofy look, but it's an intelligent breed that bonds with its people. They are a winner if you love grooming a dog. The Chow Chow is an ancient Chinese breed, one of the few dogs with a black tongue. They can be a fierce breed that gives insurance companies pause. The Toy Fox Terrier makes an energetic companion. In fact, the American Kennel Club says if it's a toy fox terrier, it should love to watch TV. The Brittany is a born hunting dog with the nose, temperament, and stamina to excel in the field, in the show ring, and in your family room. The miniature schnauzer is one of the few breeds that sports a mustache. Their winning personalities are one reason the miniature schnauzer is gaining in popularity. Remember, every breed of dog is different and an individual may not adhere strictly to breed standards. If you're bringing a dog into your family, do your homework. Check out PetFinder.com to search for specific breeds near you and choose your next best friend wisely.